Hello, I'm Sandra and welcome to Mini Melodies and Top of Hub. I hope that you've had a nice week and enjoyed the lovely sunny weather. Our theme today is going outside, so let's start off with some Mini Melodies songs. Hello and welcome back to Mini Melodies. My name's Tom. And I'm Marilyn. And we're going to go over to Hazel now and start off with our Hello song. Hello. Hello all the girls. Hello all the girls. Hello all the girls. It's good to see you here. Hello all the boys. Hello all the boys. Fantastic, thank you very much. Hazel, well, can you see, I've got someone very special here. I've got Mr. Cow. I've got some other animals who are going to come out in a moment because we're singing all about going outside today. We're going to start off by singing to Mr. Cow. Mr. Cow, how do you say to the Lord I love you? Mr. Cow, how do you I stand around in the field all day And it gives me plenty of time to say Moo Moo And we've got Mr. Sheep Mr. Sheep, how do you Say to the Lord I love you Mr. Sheep, how do you Say to the Lord I love you well, I stand all around in the field all day And it gives me plenty of time to say Bra! Bra! Then we got Mr. Pig Mr. Pig, how do you say to the Lord I love you? Mr. Pig, how do you say to the Lord I well, I roll around in the field all day And it gives me plenty of time to say Oink, 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 oink Oink, 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 oink We've got Mr. Fish Gives me plenty of time to say Bubble, 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 bubble Bubble, 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 bubble And Mr. Duck Mr. Duck, how do you say to the Lord I love you? Mr. Duck, how do you say to the Lord I love you? Well, I swim around in the pond all day Gives me plenty of time to say Quack, 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 quack Quack, 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 quack Oh wow, shall we give all of these animals a bit of a clap there and say goodbye to Mr Duck and thank you very much Marilyn You can tell we need to get out of lockdown now, can't you? <laughs> well, we're going to move on now to our next song which is a song all about going outside and if any of your grown-ups were brought up in the 1990s, they might remember this one from the children's BBC. It was called then. Look up, look down, look all around. Up in the air or on the ground. Come for a walk, come for a ride. There's plenty to do, so come outside. Look up, 
look down, look all around Up in the air or on the ground Come for a walk, come for a ride There's plenty to do, so come outside Ah, oh, fantastic! Well, that song's really got me in the mood for thinking all about our outdoors songs today and our outdoor rhymes. And the first rhyme we've got today is all about a snail. Well, do you think that snails go really quickly or really, really slowly? What do you think? Do they go quickly or slowly? Let's do the rhyme, shall we? And find out. Slowly, slowly creeps the snail. Slowly, slowly up the garden rail. Now we've got a rhyme all about a mouse. Do you think mice go slowly or do you think they go really fast as they scuttle along really quickly? What do you think? Slowly for a mouse or quickly for a mouse? Let's give it a go, shall we? Quickly, quickly, very quickly runs the mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly right into the house. Quickly, quickly, very quickly runs the mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly right into the house. And give yourselves a bit of a clap. I wonder if you managed to keep up with that one. I wonder if you saw the mouse scuttling along there on your screens. So the mouse went really quickly and the snail went really, really slowly. I wonder what would happen if there was a worm. Or I wonder if any of you have ever seen a worm before. Well, we've got a song now all about a worm at the bottom of the garden. And maybe you can do the actions at home by making a bit of a wiggly worm. And then maybe you can make a slippery snail as well. There's a worm at the bottom of the garden, and his name is Wiggly Woo. There's a worm at the bottom of the garden, and all that he can do is wiggle all day and wiggle all night. The neighbours say what a real delight. There's a worm at the bottom of the garden, and his name is Wiggly Woo. Well, I hope you've been doing some wiggling at home. Now we've got the snail called Slippery Sue. There's a snail at the bottom of my garden, and her name is Slippery Sue. There's a snail at the bottom of my garden, and all that she can do is sliver all night and sliver all day. And when she goes, she's got somewhere to stay. There's a snail at the bottom of my garden, and her name is Slippery Sue. I wonder where Slippery Sue lives, because the song said she's got somewhere to stay. I wonder if it's inside her shell. So she walks around and carries her house everywhere she goes. Well, we're going to think about some bigger animals that you might find outside now. We're going to sing all about the animals on Old MacDonald's farm. And we're going to start off with a cow. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo moo here and a moo moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Shall we see what he's got on his farm next? Shall we go for a duck? So make sure you can join in at home with all your quacking. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a duck, E-I-E-I-O. With a quack quack here and a quack quack there. Here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack quack. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And now Old MacDonald's got, let's go for the goldfish, shall we? I don't know if you're meant to get these on a farm, but I like the goldfish. 
Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a goldfish, E-I-E-I-O. With a bubble bubble here and a bubble bubble there. Here a bubble, there a bubble, everywhere a bubble bubble. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And give yourselves a really big clap. Fantastic. Well, we're going to go into a song now all about John Brown and his tractor. I've got John Brown's tractor here, and I need to put it down here. But John Brown has got a little bit of a problem, because one of John Brown's tyres has gone flat. He's got a puncture. So let's sing this song, shall we? John Brown had a tractor with a puncture in its tyre. John Brown had a tractor with a puncture in its tyre. John Brown had a tractor with a puncture in its tyre. So he fixed it with chewing gum. Broom, broom, squeak, squeak, will he make it go? Broom, broom, squeak, squeak, will he make it go? Broom, broom, squeak, squeak, will he make it go? Now he's fixed it with chewing gum. What a funny thing to mend it with. But now he's got a problem. John Brown's got a tractor with a squeak in its brakes. Oh, no. John Brown had a tractor with a squeak inside its brakes. John Brown had a tractor with a squeak inside its brakes. John Brown had a tractor with a squeak inside its brakes. So he fixed it with chewing gum. Broom, broom, squeak, squeak, will he make it go? Broom, broom, squeak, squeak, will he make it go? Broom, broom, squeak, squeak, will he make it go? Now he's fixed it with chewing gum. Well, the tyres are sorted, the brakes seem to be sorted with the chewing gum, but look, there's a rattle in the engine now, so we'll have to sing the song again and see if he can mend the engine. I wonder what he'll use to mend it. John Brown had a tractor with a rattle in the engine. John Brown had a tractor with a rattle in the engine. John Brown had a tractor with a rattle in the engine. So he fixed it with chewing gum. Broom, broom, squeak, squeak, will he make it go? Broom, broom, squeak, squeak, will he make it go? Broom, broom, squeak, squeak, will he make it go? Now he's fixed it with chewing gum. You know what? I think he's managed to make it work. Look, John Brown's tractor is as good as new. So we're going to take that and put it over here now, ready for when we can reopen our toddler group, for you all to have a bit of a ride on. Push, little seed, push, push, little seed, till your head pops out of the ground. This is the air, and now you are there, you can have a little look round. You'll see God's sky, you'll see God's sun, you'll feel God's raindrops one by one as you grow, 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 grow to be wheat for bread. So push, little seed, push, push, little seed, that the world might be fed. Thank you very much, Hazel. And now we're going to go over to Sheila, who's going to be reading us a story that Jesus told all about some seeds. Today we're going to have a story about some seeds and some soil. Here I have some seeds and I have some soil, some good soil. These seeds will need sunlight and water to grow. Jesus told the people a story, a story about a farmer, and this is the story. A farmer went out to sow his seeds, 
As he was scattering the seeds, some fell along the path, and the birds came swooping down and gobbled them up. Some seeds fell on rocky places where they did not have much soil, and so the seeds died. Other seeds fell among the thorns which grew up and choked the plants. They prevented the plants from getting sunlight and water. But still other seeds fell on the good soil where they had plenty of sun and water and where they produced a good crop of plants. A hundred, sixty or thirty times what was sown. Later, some people asked Jesus what the story meant. And this is what Jesus told them. The seeds on the good soil are like people who hear God's message and believe it and remember it in their hearts and act on it too. They keep on going and patiently make good fruit as they love God and love others. Ah, thank you very much, Sheila. Isn't that an amazing story that Jesus told? And that he said, we can all try to be like the seeds that fall on the good ground by listening to what Jesus says and remembering those things in our heart as we live them in our lives and as we choose to be Jesus's friend. That was a really, really special story. In fact, it was such a special story that I think we should sing a song about it. I've got a song just here. It's a tune that I think you'll know but you might need to learn the words. We've got some actions as well. We've got to do some sowing the seed, so we can do some sowing like this. We've got to do some trampling with our feet, some trampling like this. We do some knocking, where you find something to make a noise, or I'm going to use the stage, and you go knock, 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 knock. Then we've got some poking. You've got some grown-ups, they might want to help you with this one, and you go poke, poke, poke. And then finally, with the good seeds, We just go, we, like that. Do you think you can do that at home? Let's give this one a bit of a go then, shall we? A farmer went outside to sow some seeds, so, so. A farmer went outside to sow some seeds, so, so. The farmer went outside so that he could sow some seeds. Yes, the farmer went outside to sow some seeds, so, so. Some of the seeds got trampled on a path, trampled, trampled. Some of the seeds got trampled on the path, trampled, trampled. They wouldn't grow into fruits. They just got stuck in some boots. Some seeds got trampled just along the path. Trampled, trampled. Some of the seeds fell onto rocky ground. Knock, knock. Some of the seeds fell onto rocky ground. Knock, knock. Some seeds they started to grow tall, but they crashed with a massive fall. Some seeds fell onto rocky, rocky ground. Some of the seeds fell into spiky thorns, poke, poke. Some of the seeds fell into spiky thorns, poke, poke. The thorns got in the way, and the seeds they just couldn't stay. Some of the seeds fell into spiky thorns, poke, poke. Some of the seeds fell into lovely soil, we. Some of the seeds fell into lovely soil, we. They grew up tall, healthy and strong, and that's why we sing this song. Some of the seeds went into lovely soil. Let's do one more. Wee! And give yourselves a really big clap. Well done. Well, I'm just going to go and get my violin now, ready for us to do another activity. So, can you remember the different things that the seeds landed on? Some of them landed on the path, didn't they? And they got trampled. So when I play the trampoline music like this, I want you to be going trampling at home. Can you do that? So I'll play some trampoline music. And then some of them landed in the spiky ground. So shall I make some spiky music? Then you can do some poking at home and the spiky music will sound like this. Fantastic. And some of it landed on the rocky ground and that made a knocky sound. So I'm going to make a knocky sound like this. 
So, then finally, we had the good ground, didn't we, where we went, wee! And for the good ground, I'm going to make a nice noise, a nice happy sound. That's the happy noise when you can go wee at home. As a reminder about the seeds that landed on the good soil, reminding us that we can be like the good soil as well. So, let's listen out and see if you can remember what to do with each of these sounds. So let's start off with... So that's the trampling. Can we do some trampling at home? Well done. What about the seeds that fell onto the rocky ground with a bit of a... With a knock. What about... The spiky fawns. There's some good poking going on there. And lastly, but by no means least, in fact, the most important one is the good soil with the happy noise. That was, of course, the good soil. Well, I hope you enjoyed joining in with that one at home. Give yourselves a little bit of a clap. Well, that's almost all we've got time for. But we have still got time for one more song. And this is another one, actually, about a children's TV show. This one's all about two flowerpot men called Bill and Ben. They live in a flowerpot in the garden. So let's give this one a go, shall we? Bill and Ben. Oh, this is a jumpy isn't it? Let's do some jumping to this one. It's a big spin. It's the sunshine that makes you want to point up to the, the sun sign, shall we? It's the sunshine that makes you want to play. I wonder if any of you are going to be playing out in the sunshine this week. Making a big sun with my scarf here. Can you see a big circle? I'm going to walk around like I'm living in a flower pot. And a bit of a shake and a bit of a wiggle. You can do some clapping. Give yourselves a bit of a clap. Well done. Well, I hope you've enjoyed all the singing and all the movement today. It's been really, really good to have you with us. I might see some of you on Sunday for our all age service, and I've sent your grown-ups details all about that. But if not, I'll see you for another Mini Melodies next week. And now we're going to go over to Jill, who's got an amazing craft all about today's story. Good morning, and welcome to our craft today for Mini Mel Melodies and Toddler Hub. Now today, following on from our story of the sower, I thought we could make our own field with our own seeds in. So I've used a cereal packet and on the inside it's brown, which is great because it's the right colour for soil. But it doesn't matter if you haven't got a cereal packet that's brown, you can always colour a piece of white card or paper and divide it so that you've got a field and the sky. And that's what I've done on my piece of card here. I've divided it and I've started to do the sky at the top, but I haven't quite finished, so I'll just finish that off now so that we've got a nice wide blue sky above our field. There, I think that will do. So you've now got your sky and you've got your field here. So what do seeds need to grow? Well, they need rain and they need sunshine and they need carefully looking after too. So I've made a little sun out of yellow paper or you can use white and colour it yellow and some little golden rays of sunshine to keep the ground warm 
and I'm going to stick that into the corner of my sky. Place it there. And then I've got some clouds. Now one of my clouds is white and the other one is a little bit grey because it looks like it might rain. And I'm going to stick those into the sky too. Put the bigger one in the middle and the smaller one on the outside. So we've got our sky done, we've got our sunshine here to make the seeds grow and the rain clouds as well so that it can help them to grow. Now you might need a little bit of help with this next little bit because what I've done is into my cardboard at the bottom here in my field I've cut some little slits with some scissors. Now you might need some adult help to help you to do that but then you will have somewhere to put your seeds into. Now I've made some little seeds I've got some here, I've got some different types of one because not all seeds are the same. So I chose to do three different types and I've, they're done on cardboard but they would work on paper just as well. So you've got three different seeds here and I'm going to put those now into my field. And again you might need a little bit of adult help with this but hopefully they'll slide in fairly easily. And if they don't, then maybe just make your holes just slightly bigger. So I'm going to put my seeds in. I'm going to put different ones in different places. When you're thinking about putting your seeds in, just remember the story that Jesus told about the man who went to sow the seeds and how they fell into different places and how why some grew and some different didn't. So when you've got all your seeds in place and we're nearly there, just got a couple more to go in. I'm going to put one here and one more. There we go. So then you've got all your little seeds ready and into your field, ready to grow. Now if you remember the story, what came along in at the seeds? I remember there being some birds. So I've drawn a little bird here who's got a little beak that looks just about right to go pecking at those seeds. And I'm going to put him onto a lolly stick and I'm going to stick him with a double-sided tab. But you can just as easily use sellotape. It doesn't have to be a sticky tab. It can be sellotape and the little bird will still stay on your lolly stick. So there's my little bird on his lolly stick. And now he's going to come along and he's going to peck at some of these seeds. By turning that way, you can see him. Peck, 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 peck. And let's hope he doesn't eat all those seeds because we want some of them to grow into plants for food for all of us. I hope you enjoy making this craft and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Oh, well, I hope you really enjoyed the activities today about the seed sower and we will see you soon.